You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd rather stay off the road. Aw, oh, come on. There's so much to see. Yeah. Like dead people, dead people, and more dead people. Oh, ha ha. You really know how to lift someone's spirits, Vi. Just pointing out the truth. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Well, I think it would be fun anyway. You seem to be the only one. Lay off, Brody. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. And we'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive up one of those long roads that wind around the mountains. Follow it all the way to the top. You could see over the whole world up there, I bet. Yeah. Get a nice view of the world while you die of frostbite. Sounds like the dream. Come on, Vi. Would it kill you to live a little? If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. You know, I think I'd drive through the heart of a city. Somewhere big, like New York. All the lights, and the beautiful buildings. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, oh yeah. The biggest city in the world. I'm sure that's nice and safe. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I think I'd go just about anywhere at this point. Going anywhere isn't much of an option. We can barely manage to keep ourselves alive in one place. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about Bai. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Bai, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. Still, I was the one that had to break the news to her. And ever since I did, she's become distant. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? 
I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. Yeah, she seems pretty intense. She's always been a little bit like that. But after the twins died, she really closed up. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of miss that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Look, I don't think I should get involved. It sounds like you two should just talk it out yourselves. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it was stupid of me to ask. See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. I can try, but I can't make any promises that it'll help. Thanks, Clementine. See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Oh, sorry. Forget I said anything. It was stupid of me to ask. Ugh. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh, Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I'm sorry. You weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I understand. There are people I still miss, too. It never really gets easier. Yeah. It really doesn't. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. It's just weird not having them around anymore. That's all. Uh, yeah, 
Okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Ugh. You can't like everybody. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Ugh. You act like you hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh, you know? It's just... <sighs> Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you make it weird. He tries and you just make fun of her. Ouch. I guess I better do some self reflection. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry about Sophie and Minnie and not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Hmm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just. I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. I guess it's weird with you too. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. Well, you gonna lead the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Follow me. It's not too far from here. Okay.
Where are those guys? Clem, look. Someone cut it. Is that normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A uh, Sam? Lewis! <sighs> Let's spread out. Maybe that'll help us find him. Watch out for monsters. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slowpokes coming? Yeah. We're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A uh, Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Huh. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Flim! Found something. Monster. Guys! Over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us through the- That's not what I'm worried about. Brody, just chill. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Brody, you're being too loud. We might not be alone. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? Loud is bad. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Just give me some space. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. 
It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go.